Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Sheldon and this is Behind the Enthusiast. Today we are going to be taking a look at the 2024 Harley Davidson Streaklide, wait for it, 117. Now this is a huge upgrade basically, we've seen the 107, the 114 just completely deleted from the lineup and now we are left with only one engine option, the 117. Now, just to give you guys some price comparisons, we have the Streaklide 117 coming in at $31,999. Now, this is actually a pretty good price when you actually compare it to the previous models. 2023 model 107 was $27,499. The special would have come with the 114 at $34,299. And the ST model, which would have been a 117 as well, $37,799. An average between the three, $33,199. And, well, the price has gone down. So when you think about what you're actually getting for the 2024 model you're getting that 117 you're basically getting an st which cost so much more money it's frankly this is a really really good upgrade anyone who bought a 2023 model well you may feel a little uh cheated at the moment based on these prices now Keep in mind, there are a lot of differences. Basically, all the things that came on the 2023 CBO models, that stuff is transferred over now. And so we have the updated fairing, the lighting, the fuel tank, the saddlebags. We've got different wheels. We have the updated engine. Obviously, any changes that they have made to the motor, all of those things are coming over now, in regards to the looks of the bikes, well, the Street Glide, obviously, it's getting the CVO upgrades from 2023 now transferred over. We don't have the base model, the special. We don't have anything that differentiates it from one model to the next, unless, of course, you change the trim. Now, let's talk about those details right now. We've got chrome trim. And the tank badge is completely brand new and it actually has orange accents on it and it looks really, really sharp. This is actually a retro logo. I don't know from what year. However, it's kind of one of my favorites. So I am very fond of this logo. Now, in terms of paint, you guys may find some familiar names here. Billiard Gray. Obviously, that one's going to be coming up quite a bit for all the models. This one doesn't cost you guys any extra money. Vivid Black, however, $750 additionally. Keeping in mind, we are saving so much money compared to an ST117 from last year. Reminder, that was almost $38,000. And right now, we are paying $32,000, basically. So to pay an additional $750 for Vivid Black. I mean, yeah, you're not getting the bronze wheels or the, any of the other bronze accents for that matter. However, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out a nice budget to make this actually completely worth your while to dress it up as an ST model, if you want to, of course. But for anybody who bought a special with a 114 in it, keep in mind that you are getting a heck of a deal right now. So all these paint options that I'm gonna be discussing, the prices that you're gonna pay extra, kind of a mute point. <laughs> so we've got white onyx pearl, an additional $1,100. Now these are the premium paints, keep in mind. We also have whiskey fire, and again, $1,100 additionally on that MSRP. and. You know, White Onyx Pearl, quite possibly my favorite paint at the moment. However, Whiskey Fire looks really, really sharp. 
This is supposed to be an orange, but it does kind of have a, a bit of a hint of red to it based on the website photos anyway. We've also got one of my favorite colors this year, Blue Burst. That will cost you guys an additional, you guessed it, $1,100. And these bikes all look really, really nice in the chrome trim. And last but not least, we have Alpine Green for, again, $1,100. Now, these paint options are great, right? But do we have the trim option of black? Yes, we do. So with the black trim option, you guys will be getting slightly different tank badge. Instead of the orange accenting, it'll be all blacked out. And the trim package will cost you guys an additional $1,700. Now again, the prices this year basically have gone down when you compare it to the Special or the ST. And if you're comparing it engine to engine, 117 to 117, $38,000 last year. So technically, it's gone down about $6,000. So, <laughs> like, I, I'm, I will be very surprised if you guys are not commenting down below right now saying, I'm going to go buy one of these models. Now, Billiard Gray doesn't cost you guys any extra money. And I got to be completely honest with you guys. Billiard Gray is looking so good with the black trim. It just looks so good. Vivid Black, an additional $750, which looks absolutely amazing as well. We have White Onyx Pearl. And again, this is the start of the premium paints for $1,100 each. So White Onyx Pearl, this one, honestly, black trim. It is really hard to not go to a bank right now and ask for a loan for one of these things because the paint and the, the the trim options like everything the new styling honestly i was a little bit concerned when i first saw it however it is growing on me quite a bit however we are talking about a street glide and mm, i probably wouldn't buy one of those probably would buy a road glide but we'll discuss that in another video now we still have whiskey fire for $1,100, and again, Whiskey Fire looks so good on this bike. It looks good on most bikes, quite frankly. We also have what is probably gonna be my favorite color, Blue Burst. However, blue, with the black trim, I don't know, black and blue generally isn't a good thing, right? Because you think of somebody getting beaten up. So to put it on the bike, hmm, I don't know about that one. Now. Here is a new one for you guys, Atlas Silver Metallic. Basically, it's like billiard gray, but a little bit brighter, more shiny, if you will. And that is, again, an additional $1,100. And this one looks really nice as well. And, of course, another new one, not available with the chrome package, Shark Skin Blue for an additional $1,100. And this one... I, I still want to see it in person, but it is definitely growing on me. From the photos I've seen online, this thing looks amazing. Now, obviously you guys can't base your decision on whether or not you want to buy one of these strictly on price, the trim options, and the paint. However, it wouldn't be a good idea for me to leave out all of those upgrades that you guys are basically inheriting from the CVOs. Now, this doesn't mean you get a 121. I'm talking about the visual upgrades and a new Skyline operating system with a 12.3 inch TFT display, which this thing is nuts. This is the largest display unit on a Harley or even a touring bike for that matter. And comes with all those updates. We've got the new fairing design, the new lights, fuel tank, saddlebags, wheels are not the same, but they are different from last year. We have a bunch of upgrades as well. We also have weight reduction. We have a new cooling system, new cylinder head design, intake design, rear suspension, front suspension, improved aerodynamics, an adjustable center vent, 
which uh, does aid in that helmet buffering or buffeting. Never remember the right word there. So we've got that. We've got a new radiator fan, apparently. The shape of the seat has also changed. Keep in mind, we have the adjustable brake levers. We have ride modes. We have the standard options of the cornering, rider safety enhancements, all that stuff. And of course, we have all LED lighting. Now, if you guys want more specifics on these details, because there are a bunch, check out the website, go through the details. It'll expand a little bit more on what I'm doing in this video, but that's just because I want to keep this uh, kind of short and sweet for you guys and just talk about the basics. However, if you guys don't feel like wandering off to the website and you want to ask me any questions, so that I can expand on some of these new options. Feel free to leave your comments down below, your questions, and I will do my best to look up that information for you guys so you don't even have to do any of the work. And I will leave it in a response on your comment. Now, obviously, if I get, you know, bombarded with a lot of questions, I could potentially make another video for you guys expanding on a lot of these options or expanding on individual options as well. So keep that in mind. Feel free to ask all the questions that you guys want. Now, here is one thing that uh, you guys might be interested in. This is a very, very last addition to the video. And that is when we are comparing the 2024 117 to the previous models, for engines such as the 107 from 2023, we have an increase of 9% for the displacement. Now again, this is jumping from a 107 to a 117. We have an increase in the horsepower by 22% and an additional 19% when it comes to torque. Now, if we're gonna compare it to the 114s, which would have come in these specials, the displacement has increased 3%. Horsepower, 11%, and torque, 7 Now, when you compare the 117 that is currently now offered to the 2023 models, and keep this in mind, the CCs on this is 1923. That is what a 117 is. It is the equivalent of 1,923 cc's. The displacement, obviously, those two numbers do not change. 0% increase on the displacement. However, due to some changes, which I did mention about the engine and the cylinder head design, all that stuff, we've actually gained 3% horsepower and 4% in torque. Right? That's, that's actually pretty good, considering you get the same displacement. So, increase in horsepower and torque. It has a 10.3 to 1 compression ratio. And, here is a little tidbit for you guys. The torque, 103 foot-pounds at 3250 RPM. And the horsepower is 105 at 4600 RPM. Now... The weight reduction, which I also mentioned, just to give you guys an exact number, this is based on the dry weight for the Street Glide. It is 18 pounds less than its predecessor. So, last year you guys were carrying around almost an extra 20 pounds on your motorcycles, and now we've shaved that off. So, 20 pounds, I mean, that's a substantial uh, decrease in weight if you ask me and that rounds out all the details that I have in this video for you guys so hopefully this was informative hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys got all the information that you need and again if I missed something or didn't expand enough on something comment section is down below so if you guys like this video make sure to smash that like button so I know that it's working again comments questions Feel free to leave them down below. You guys know that I love engaging in the comments section and I do my best to respond immediately. And if I don't, it's probably because you asked me a really tough question. So 
Last but not least, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.